This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learn something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Inside of Excel, there'll be many, many times when you'll need to do what's called selecting a range. So let's look at some ways that you can select ranges of cells in your Excel spreadsheet. So what I have here is just an empty spreadsheet so we can look at selection techniques. Probably the most popular way to select is simply clicking and dragging. So what you do is you click where you want to start your selection. I'll just start here in cell D3. Click hold, don't let go, it's a left mouse click, just click and hold and just drag and as you drag you'll see exactly what is selected. And when you're finished, you let go. That's called a range of cells or selecting a range of cells. So let's do it again. This time let's go over to B1. Click hold, don't let go and I'm just, just dragging, selecting cells in column B. And when I get to the bottom of where I want to be in column B, B8, now I'm just going to go to the right. So as you're dragging, don't worry if you make a mistake. See, I wanted to be all the way down to row eight, but as I move my way to the right, look, I missed eight, so I'll just go back down. Just don't quit, that's the trick. Hold and click and hold and drag until you've selected exactly what you want to select. You always have one active cell, so you can see my active cell here is B1, so if I were to type something right now, it would be in cell B1. Now I want to show you another trick about selecting. I'm just going to single click there on cell B1 to deselect that range of cells. And I want to point out up here in the name box. When you're in the name box, when you're looking in the name box and clicking and dragging, watch what happens. Watch in the name box. See, as I'm dragging, it's telling me 4R times 1C, 4 rows times 1 column. Now I have 9 rows and 2 columns. Oh wait, there it disappeared, but that's okay. Look at the bottom right hand corner of my selection. I have selected 76 rows and five columns. So when it's no longer in range of the name box, the selection will show in a little tool tip in the bottom right hand corner of your range. So whether you're looking in the name box or that tool tip, you'll always be able to see how much you have selected. Right, I'm just going to single click to deselect and show you another technique. This time I'm holding down my shift key on my keyboard and I'm using my arrows. So with the shift key held down on my keyboard, I'm just not like going the shift, any arrow, whether I go up, down, left, or right, it's going to add to or delete from the selection. So just don't let go of shift until you're finished with your selection, and then you can let go of the shift key. So there's another way that you can select. And then a third way that I would recommend is what I call click, shift, click. So I'm going to simply click on cell B71. I'm not going to click again, I want to also go to J80, I'm just not going to click until I hold down my shift key. So now I'm holding shift and I'm clicking again, and you can see I was able to select everything between clicks. Let me just show you that one again. I'll go to E72, click, hold down shift, click again, and you get everything between clicks. So use whichever option works the best for you. You can click and drag to select, you can click, hold shift, click again, or you can hold your shift key and use your arrows. Any of those ways work beautifully in order for you to select multiple cells at one time to work in your Excel spreadsheet. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.